hello and welcome back to another video so today we have quite a couple things going on uh first of all at some point today we need to have another wash as you can see there's quite a couple flies around us uh but besides that uh we did get quite a couple gems as well as gold delivered yesterday um from some of the previous engagements from the mexican army and with that we're now able to craft i believe carbines which again is one of the most expensive rifles currently in the game i believe so hopefully we're going to be able to sell some of those i believe john and i have two of the gun gems that are very very rare and we're going to be able to make two of those carbines hopefully sell those for a ton of money uh we also have i think a bunch more gold to be able to make some more elephant guns as we made a couple episodes ago or i think actually the last episode and uh yeah we're hopefully going to be making a lot of money at the gunsmith very soon today we also have the flea market so uh, we'll probably be attending that and i'll show you guys little things that happened during that whole thing uh hopefully we're going to be able to sell some guns but for now let's head into the gun store see if john us around and uh see what the deal is with these weapons and if we're actually going to be making them yeah the base price for a gun gem right now is about three cases. seems like they're talking about the gems as well i'm wondering actually so the gems are not in here which leads me to believe that maybe john made one of them we oh they are in here okay i honestly wanted to craft one but you know john seems to have crafted them up already we still have those 10 gold bars as well for the elephant rifles um, yeah, I think we're gonna take a look at that carbine in a second because that's a very expensive yeah. rifle. Uh, John, mm -hmm. can I test them out? Uh, yeah. I okay, guess. I've been needing to. <laughs> I wanted to make one of them, but I've seen you've made them both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's grab this repeater carbine. Uh, well, actually, let's put away our Lancaster. I really want to try this thing out. Uh, have you tried them out yet? Nope. Oh, okay. Fire them because they're, uh, yeah. That's specifically for two very important people so well we got to make sure they work we don't want them breaking <laughs> do you want to grab the other one just so we can make sure they both sure. are working all right yeah <laughs> i just want to test out this thing so bad holy i'm guessing this uses just repeater ammo so we should be able to buy some repeater i think it uses repeater ammo let's see this is carbine repeater but does it actually use that ammo it does Yes, it does. All right, so let's load this thing up. Definitely a very interesting way. I want to see how this thing shoots. Looks very nice. Yeah, wow, you want to test uh, this thing? Eh? Uh, oh, well, all rounded. They're probably the best gun in the Commonwealth. Really? Let me yep. see. Holy oh! shit! Oh! oh my god! Well, it was close, wow. but holy Woo! shit! All righty. <laughs> oh wow! How much does this hold? I almost just said hold in this tube, John. Second? I almost just a hold in the tube. There you go. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. okay. Let's see. So one. Let me just load it up and count how many shots this thing has. I'm very curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. What was that? Hold oh, seven. Okay. okay, seven's good. Oh, it's quite a nice gun. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's going away till we can seal it. <laughs> yeah. It works. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is uh, quite a crazy gun. Again, I think this sells for like 5,700 or something crazy. I know it sells for a ton of money. Hopefully, John and I are going to be able to sell both of these, although I think both of them are already reserved. Um, obviously, they would get sold at much a lower price to uh, the people we're planning to sell to because they are the ones who brought us the gun gems, of course, for that carbine. As we can look over here in the weapons, if we go over to, I believe, rifles. Or no, not rifles. What is it under? Repeaters. The carbine takes one gun yeah, gemstone, five gold bars, and then obviously a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, I think this should sell at the cheapest for like four grand and like a market price of 5,700, I think. Or a little bit more expensive. Uh, either way, though, hopefully we're going to be able to sell some of those today. And uh, either way, I will see you guys in a little bit when either we're finally selling some of these off. Um, I think also we are going to make an elephant rifle or two. I actually talked to Addy, another person that we have talked quite a bit to in Mexico. And uh, he really wants to get an elephant rifle and a carbine. And we might be able to get him a carbine for later tonight. Uh, but either way, I'm going to probably go clean myself off, uh, get all ready for the flea market. And I'll see you guys once the flea market is underway. Or, of course, there's anything else. Else going on with the gun store. 
Alrighty, so unfortunately there wasn't too much going on at the flea market. Uh, unfortunately, Miss Flowers, I don't advertise it too much this week, but I believe we're going to be uh, spending some time later on talking to a bunch of different businesses and getting them set up for the upcoming events for the flea market. Uh, but for now, I have John and I here and we're about to have, I think, a very important meeting with Rico. So uh, we're just kind of waiting around here for that. We're going to have that meeting with Rico and then hopefully go around with Miss Flowers, advertise the flea market, get some businesses signed up and and uh, hopefully have some good ones in the future. Uh, either way, though, I will see you guys in just a little bit when I believe we're going to be having quite an important conversation with Rico. Alrighty, apparently there are some uh, bandits over in Mexico, and I think we are getting called on to hopefully help them. Uh, I believe we're going to go hopefully find them soon. Not really sure what completely went on, but I have an idea we're going to figure that out very shortly. Actually, we could probably ask John. John, do you know who these people are that we're uh, looking for? Yep some uh rebels okay. they hate the government hate the military hate rico uh there is uh somewhat rivals so okay okay all righty so we're gonna bring the elephant rifle with us hopefully we get to use we're it today guess we'll hey, see though hey. sounds like there's some bandits in mexico i'll see you guys and hopefully we're meeting up or taking care of yep. them all right here we go i think we're heading over more like it uh Tokamada. The fort up on the hill. We, f we think they're trying to take it for their own. Right. The, you know, this 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 man and his crew are dangerous people. Okay, very dangerous. Right. Assuming, right, that we that we take out his uh out his men. Hartcliffe, I've tasked him with mm -hmm. with the uh, with the task of of getting him. Right. So he's gonna he's gonna go and try get the guy. Right. Do not shoot Hartcliffe. Right. You shoot Hartcliffe, I I shoot you. Right. What a cannon. Alrighty. Apparently it's a gang base. Yeah, yeah, but... So uh this might be a little little we'll sketchy. We will see. Oh. Alright, we're almost there. Not exactly sure where this is. He said Torquemada Torquemada. It's apparently where they are. Now, the, as I said, these are dangerous. Apparently it's men, a gang right? base. So as, as soon as you see these guys, you fucking shoot them, right? No you know, we're not fucking we're not knocking on no doors, okay? Make sure we're all good on our food and water. Our stress is down all the way, which I mean, should I'm be helpful. A lot of quiet people. See? Yep. Yeah, folks. Life's mentally know. prepared. See him, send him to the maker. Ooh. See him out there. Oh, Careful. boy. So they're definitely they're here. Kind of this is going to be uh, what I believe is our first shootout. And I think first time here. almost besides moonshining at one point now, so... Let's hope this goes well. Hopefully the last. So they're probably going to see us all coming in as we'll throw on look at. Yep, it's a perfect place to defend from. Almost at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, amigos. Dismount. Alright, here we go. Okay, you ready? I'm going to go back at, later on. There's a lot of people here, amigos. Okay. Probably should have bought a war wagon. Thought of, oh, yeah, well, there's a lot of people, amigos. A lot of fucking people. Oh, uh, not much cover. No fucking cover. There's none. That's all right, we can see it all. Hey, I see one right now. We need to get some cover. We're, there's going to be no fight. Okay. Amigos. No, we'll be ready? Right, as long as we got there. Got the ready. buildings there. We're ready. Fire. Oh, careful, John. Oh, sorry. Right Probably there. shouldn't be crouching right. down. Careful. Most of Don't down. get too close. Should we got one at the top? Okay, I'm pushing up to the wall. Got three on the right. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. All the crossfire. Got a little bit of cover here. Cover, cover, cover. Might have just got one. One in the window. One close right, close right. Got one. On the far back side, left side. Oh, no voice, no voice. No eyes either. Got it. One left side. Oh, he's there. Oh, he's hit. 
Dead. Two shots left in this. We're gonna have to switch off after. Very top room. Oh, Eduardo! We're coming for you, Eduardo. Top room. There's one. Only be able to get up here. Up top. Oh, so we got four in here. I got one, one back. Cutting. Careful. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna die. Shit. Fuck. Got, got him. him. Got him. That should be all. He'll put off. Oh. Stepping out. Oh boy. I sent one of them flying up there. Okay, man, <laughs> I see. There we go. Successful. Amigos, round up. Courtyard. Whew. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> he got the wrong one. I got him right here. Well, here we go. There we go. Oh, that was a little scary, but did we lose anyone? We're starting to lose. Thorn got hit. Thorn got hit and teaches on uh teaches on uh Pablo shoulders. Okay, amigos. Oh shit, then you see. This is uh this man is a dangerous man, okay? So you're doing you done you done good work here, okay? Very good work. Do you know who this man is, huh? This man is Eduardo Sanchez. He's a dangerous man, a dangerous puto. Okay. You all understand? Nice. Sí. See. Do you know this man, Seville? Mmm. Don't work now. Oh. Are you sure? He does look familiar. Hmm. I mean, from what I've been told, you know this man pretty well. Oh. I ain't too sure about that. You fucking lying to me, Seville? I won't even lie to you, Rico. <coughs> I mean, the senor uh -huh. go way back. You fucking lied to me? What's his name again? He said Eduardo Sanchez. It sounds familiar, but I, I'm not too sure. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, Seville. I don't know. I don't think I trust you. What well, might you think that? I don't know. I, I, there's just something about this whole situation, Seville. Very, very funny. Very, very funny. Funny in what way? You know, I will never do anything against you, nor Mexico. Ever. Mm. We've been through enough shit that I hope you would understand that by now. It's a good thing I what trust you. What does he you. say, no shit? It's, it's a good thing I trust you, Seville. Okay. Now, Seville. All these men here. Now I know you, 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 you've been wanting to get involved in some of the stuff that we, we've, we've been doing. Right? Nice, sir. Now all these men here would die for me. I want to know. That. Will you kill for me? I will. Kill for me, Seville. I ain't have to ask me twice. Is he dead? You should probably check. Oh, he check his uh, check his pulse. I 
I will live and die for you, Rico. You know that. Give this man a buckle. Oh shit. He's ready. Oh shit. Toss this motherfucker out the fucking cliff. Oh shit. You're a lost poco now, right? You're not. You're not just somebody. Just, just somebody anymore. You're a fucking lost poco. Rico. This has been something I've been hoping for for a while. And I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that you trust me enough to trust me with this. What the f You're gonna have to do. You're gonna make a lot of tough decisions in this life. Yeah, she, this force has been pretty cool. Very, very dangerous I life. There in the I understand, Luke. Okay. Amigos. This is our place now. Okay. Clear the rats. You see anyone up here? You know, you you move you move them out. You don't. This is this is this is ours. Come again. This fucking bastard comes in and tries to take over a part of Mexico again. No, it's not gonna happen. This he's a dangerous man, and you don't you done some good work. Santa Marta would be proud. Thank you for bringing me along, and I'm I'm glad I could show uh show my support to you. Why am I scared there for a second? Let's let's clear the let's clear these fucking rats up. Well, it looks like we've officially joined Rico's gang. I believe we're gonna be uh, getting the belt buckle for that soon. I'm guessing this was a, some sort of test for this, but we're officially joining, I believe, the Los Pocos. Definitely, definitely something we've been working on for a while to become part of this. And uh, I'm glad we're finally able to. Let's drop some of these people off. Not gonna need them up here anymore. Goodbye. But it seems like this was uh, some sort of test. Well, it looks like we passed, thankfully. Whew. There we go. There we go. Finally, the veil's moving up in the world. Now part of uh, Rico's criminal side. And I'm very Not excited for fault. it. Very excited for it. Well, I guess we're going to see whatever happens next. But whew, that was uh, quite the action-packed start. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Alrighty. We're back over where's, in uh, Chupa. Where's Ricardo? I believe we're about to get our belt be officially, our belt buckle officially be a part of uh, the Los Pocos gang. Definitely excited. Definitely excited. And I also think later on today, we are going to be going to Saint Denis for a big criminal meeting. So I'll be sure to uh, record that as well. But I believe we're just waiting for them and we're about to put on our buckle. Officially become part of Rico's gang, the Los Pocos. And uh, definitely excited for it. Bye. Right. We'll you Perfect. I'm excited for it. Alrighty, here we go. Belt buckle, 131. One. up here. Switch it over. Look what this there we go. Put him on the Number bed. two, correct? 1312. Yeah, see, look. Identical. Oh, Alrighty. Here we go. Let's save. We're going to save this as Los. Pocos. Boom. There we go. Officially part of the Los Pocos gang. <sighs> Definitely a good day. Now, I think we're just going to uh, be cutting over to when we're having that meeting over in Saint Denis with uh, all the criminal organizations. Should be a very important meeting. And again, us officially part of a criminal organization. Took a while, but we finally got there. I'll see you guys uh, once we're over in Saint Denis having that meeting we're over in saint denis quite a bit of a trek over but uh we're about to go on over to uh, the porgini's house and have a little bit of a meeting with uh, i believe a couple other gangs as well so we're about to see what's up with that so uh we're running over there right now i'm just gonna cut to when we are over at the porgini's uh, little house over there and i believe we're having a pretty right. big gang meeting we gotta run back to the house so this should be interesting i'll see you guys once we're there and I believe we're here. Oh, hola amigos. Bye, Odi. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Good. Good to see you all. Come on in. Were you the first here? Good. Yeah, you are. Oh, oh. okay. I'm not here. I thought I was late. <laughs> Hello. All right. You, we're a little late, but apparently we're the first ones here. So I'll take it. All right. Let me let me take you around the manor. Follow me, gentlemen, if you would, please. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, first of all, tonight we will be serving some drinks and food and stuff in, in this here. If you guys need anything to eat or drink, please come see me, okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, Sisa, come, come. Lovely place. 
Why are you thank you, you, thank you. I don't think the coffee stopped the bleeding. The boss has got some very nice Is style. Is it the good coffee or the bad coffee, amigo? It's, it's just, just regular coffee, no cream or anything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, ma. Gentlemen, follow me, please. Now, of course, when it's nice and sunny and we're having, like, maybe a, a cookout or something, this is our pool. Nope. Lots of swimming. So it goes on here. Swimming's really healthy. Oh, looks like the gardener hasn't been by recently, but come with me. He's gonna tell her. <laughs> yeah, it's a little... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is a beautiful dock back. out here as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely got quite the oh, property yeah. here. And, of course, this is our waterfront view. Oh, look. Lots of alligators, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> or crocodiles, whatever they're called. I can't, I can't tell right. the difference, to be honest. Big snapper. Big fish. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like this, this is where we have a lot, a lot of our meetings. It's out here, it's nice and nice quiet. <laughs> right. All right, it's way too wet out here. My shoes are soaking. <laughs> Let's come. <laughs> come with me. Hey, this is a beautiful backyard. Okay, why don't you follow me upstairs? Fucking I'll show you our second floor, huh? Couldn't take these guys anywhere. All right, well, this right here, just so you know, if you feel like uh, you need a chill, you are able to, uh, you know, change up a little bit here. We have some extra clothes if you would like, okay? Ooh. <laughs> if oh. you want to ride them nice and nice and dry, you know. Okay, gentlemen. Come to Quite this a nice house. This is a beautiful house. Uh, this, this, this I'm course, not gonna lie, this uh, house looks a lot smaller from the outside. That is Mr. Porgini's room, so we're going to leave that locked for now, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Come here. Got a little tour. Oh, this is, oh my. Yes, yes, wow. this is my this favorite is room amazing in, the whole, up here. in the whole manor. I spend most of my mornings here just like reading some of these uh, amazing books. What's mm -hmm. your favorite book, Mr. Lee? What's that? What's your favorite book? Uh, well, you know what? I'm a very big fan of Edgar Allan Poe at the moment. He's a very young writer, but you know mm. what? I think he's got potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. a nice one. Absolutely. All right. Definitely got a little tour. It's definitely been a fun time so far. Um, probably just going to keep getting Look, this tour, seeing how it's going. Uh, getting a little Look view. Oh, oh, my. Right? That's the right, gardens, sir. holy. Is that is, is my favorite tree in all of the, uh, the Commonwealth. Look yeah, at it's it. A, it's a nice That's tree. So That's a nice tree. Amazing. Amazing. It's one ale of a tree. That is a tree. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> that is a tree. <laughs> Just need to sit there. And of course, here is where we're going to be having dinner tonight, my friend. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. That right there is a portrait of Mr. Oh. Porgini's father. Mr. Oh. Mr. Porgini. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Oh, he was cool. a great man. Just like his son, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's... That's true. He has a stern look. He does have yeah. a stern look. Staring into my soul. <laughs> oh, let me get that you know what? He definitely did not take any kind of... Uh, what's the words that you say in English? Um, uh, ploppers. Not mad. Shit. Yeah. Right. Come, come. <laughs> and of course... We can come here, enjoy some Bloody cigars. Anti You've been here before, Rico. You know all the whole drill, don't mm -hmm. you? I, oh, yeah, yeah. Oui, oui. Well, yeah. well gentlemen, I like this place. let me get back to the kitchen, because I need to prepare you gentlemen something to eat, huh? Oh, something to eat you? and drink. Well, I won't say no. Much appreciated. Yes, of course. Muchas gracias, señor. Like so. Alrighty. Absolutely a crazy tour, but I think... We're just going to cut over to uh, when the meeting is, and I will see you guys in just a little bit once that is starting. Gentlemen, uh, this here is uh, the Red King and uh, Chuck, oh, Mr. Oh, Dutton here. How you doing, these are our friends across the border. That's General Rico there. Nice to meet and you, then, sir. Uh, these beautiful uh, nice gentlemen around the, the room are his guys. Pleasure to meet all of you. My Pleasure to meet you, too. Pleasure. Uh. We're yep. just waiting on, ahead, uh, we're waiting on, uh, Poncho and his guys, but they're, uh, mm -hmm. fashionably late. Right. As a what habit, you, I guess. What are you sitting at, Mr. Pozzini? Well, right, it looks like there's fine. a couple more people arriving, finally. Alright.
Alrighty, I believe the meeting is finally about to begin. So yeah, like I was telling Rico earlier, this is uh, this has been your thing for longer than it has been my thing, apparently. Uh, so I didn't want to step on no toes, uh, and I wanted to get this started uh, because I feel like uh, we'll be able to do a lot of good business together if we establish some ground rules and some business yeah. relationships. But I think that's uh, what benefits us the most is we can pull in information together, you know, across the Commonwealth that we normally wouldn't know. Uh, so this is going to be beneficial to us all. Um, how you guys want to do it is what uh, we're going to discuss today, you know, uh, establish some ground rules. Like uh, for me, I don't want no fucking farmers robbed no more. I'm tired of uh, new faces coming into the territories and uh, getting their pockets swiped. That shit's got to end and we got to crack down on how it's doing it. Definitely heard about that a what's bit. Happening when we'll have to see. Yeah, uh, we heard but, rumors yeah. and roads that the territorial lines are going to be abolished. Is that right? Yeah, it, it happening. It's like, happening now. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. it's a uh, east and west. It's going to bring its own set of problems for me oh. here in Saint Denis if they're going to get rid of the uh, police department. So mm. that's yeah, fucking me, fantastic. So. Anyways, uh, I mean, can we all agree on that? No, I mean, I my guys don't touch farmers. That's blow us never never was our way to do things mm -hmm. and i think we all thing. agree on that but as far mm -hmm. as uh, probably uh giving consequences to these newer outfits that maybe don't understand that that's not, not how we do things mm -hmm. well i mean the look, only we this is actually great i heard they, a lot about uh farmers like getting that. robbed so this is definitely um, nice to hear i have no problem with putting a beating on these smaller crews going after the farmers at some point you're gonna hit one of ours you know mm -hmm. one of the businesses and then that's when we don't like it there yeah so, and yeah. beefs pop up out of nowhere because uh, stupid mistakes are being made yeah exactly why it's better to be friendly with everybody here remember faces and uh that way when you're out and about you don't run into each other and uh words get misspoken or uh you know insults get uh, tossed back and forth that people uh, can't let go of all right well what else are you what you say you had some things to bring to the table Pancho? i think we should create also a code between ourselves like of the families mm -hmm. if some family has a problem with the other which will happen i mean at some point uh, i mean territory wise if you get a lot of families at some point they're gonna want the same thing right, right. same spot and I think we should have like a kind of a code. I mean, the pirates did it also, right? And to get a code that if families get a problem in between them, that they do it in a different way than just going after the, the families or whatever, you know? As far as uh, war between anybody here at the tables, uh, there's got to be, if, if you might agree to that, there's got to be some uh, goal in mind. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If uh, if somebody's, I don't want, I don't want war over fucking words or insults. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. But mm -hmm. if, uh, if you're trying to cut out a piece of territory like uh, Raddy's crew is trying to do in Guam, that's different. You know, that's business. And they're trying to, you know, expand and get that. All right. Anything else to bring to the table that we want to set up uh, right now going forward? And then next time we meet, We'll meet over, uh, I, I don't know, we'll figure it out, Rico. Um, there's one more thing uh, that I uh, want to bring uh, to here. Uh, Chuck, if you can go ahead. Yeah, uh, Pancho, uh, this is more directed towards you since you are in uh, Austin. Um, I got a question. Are you uh, affiliated or close with the, native, uh, the natives that are up there? I am. The K Comanche? I'm, I'm close with the Comanche. We have... Uh, I mean, they're always been there. Obviously, there's connections more to when it comes to us, more to individuals like Alaska. She just have help. Is, the, is she the female one that rides around with like a light, with a ball I mean, on her? Just, I mean, she's the doctor. I mean, <laughs> Chuck, you could have like I mean, <laughs> a ball. All right, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, they've been fishing my boys recently, and um. Well, what have your boys been doing? Because they're very territorial. Riding past the reservation, and then she that said. Would be it. I, uh, how we, how do you expect I, to get I, to the other town next well, door? Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, it's, if you're on the road, I don't see the problem. But I've seen them; they normally put up signs, or I think the signs are just normally there anyway. But when you go on their their uh, reservation or their land, and that proceeds outside those fences, by the way, 
it's they everything are, up to the road, yeah, they're right? Very, yeah, everything up pretty much up to the road. They're they lose their fucking minds. You might you might time. want to remind them then uh, that that uh of their property lines then. Yeah, because they uh, they follow people on the road and and they mm. you know people try to go to town and they just pull up on them, say this is their land, this that and the third, but there's no other option to get down to the the town that's right mm. below their the reservation. You know, I'll speak with them. Um, they're they're close with me. Um, but you gotta make sure that you don't go on their land because I can only do so much, you know. Um, and she also needs like them to know how to fucking speak and and dictate that then for somebody mm. who doesn't know. You know what I mean? Mm. No, okay, I I understand what you're saying. Uh, what exactly did she say? Nothing. You oh. just shot him in the face. Right. Well, what exactly did he say? Nothing. Oh. You were just caught on their lane. She rode up to and shot. She said, in "What the are face? you doing here?" He said, "We're just riding by." And she shot him in the face. This is our property, our land. And then she threw me in this little ditch where there was a burning man on a stick. Yeah. Luckily, the boys were there and they got me out of there. In the canyon, there. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. And then she did the same thing to one of my, the, actually the gentleman that was here earlier in the blue that was standing next to me. She did the same shit. I'm gonna be honest. It's always gonna be hard to get and then like uh, sit down with them. I mean, I'm not looking for a sit down. I'm just wondering if you guys I mean, are affiliated. I could, was, I, could get a, I could get a sit down with them. He's hey, one. He's one. Look, he's one to know Rico. if if he's got beef, if he can yeah. have your guys' oh, blessing exactly. on that. Rico. Yeah, but exactly. I'll be honest with you, you're not gonna go far with that. You know how they are. Uh, they're very, stubborn. They're they're yeah, exactly. Like, do I have to teach him a lesson? Uh, do I have your blessing to teach him a lesson? Or I mean, look, look, do you want I'll to talk to them first? Them. I'll speak with them and we'll we'll settle it because All right. they I got really close ties with them and I don't want to have uh well let's say family problems. Yep, understood. Um but look, I'll see what I can do. Is that a uh, reasonable gentleman, Chuck? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm reasonable, yeah. yeah come up with uh, also if you got any business that you're dabbling in that you can uh, you know spread around that would be uh very beneficial yeah so like uh this underground marketplace if you want to attend it as my guest and uh, get your your hands dirty in that just let me know uh we we're, we're kind of put a stop on the shine business recently because of mm -hmm. uh, the heat yeah. the heat wave in mexico mm -hmm. these guys who are running the marketplace got a tab on opium though and they, they were trying to sell it to me at two hundred fifty dollars a pop, you believe that, boys? You old, you old dogs here. Well, I mean, look, they used to I'm, be a hundred a pop, I think, right? I mean, I, I was sold it two hundred, two hundred fifty. Yeah, two fifty, and uh, they were limiting people to ten, ten a week. Yeah, but I mean, uh, these guys obviously got uh, in on it, so uh, it's possible. I'll, uh, I'll reach out to, about this next meeting probably in another week or so. All right. Yeah. yeah. Right, Take it easy, guys. Oh, take care of everyone. Pleasure meeting all you guys. Pleasure meeting everybody. There you go. That was Alrighty. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Definitely an interesting meeting over with the poor genies and a couple of the other families around. Uh, either way, definitely a lot of interesting stuff. Specifically, uh, apparently the lines between uh, the different divisions of the different sheriff's office are... Typical Rico stuff are apparently uh, getting changed. So it's just going to be an east and the west. So that should definitely be interesting. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem for us over in Mexico, but definitely some interesting info. It sounds like uh, we're going to be working with a couple groups in the future. Either way, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Howdy, Rico. Okay, oh. hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, and as no, always, if you did, make sure to leave a like. Yeah, 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 and if yeah, you want to, subscribe. And I will see you, you in the next video. <laughs>